All right, someone asked me this question, so I'm going to call this one uh, Advanced Partitioning Part 2. But basically, this is for people that, you know, uh, a new Ubuntu comes out and they're deciding, hey, should I upgrade? Should I do a fresh install? How should I do it? I don't really recommend doing upgrade because usually it doesn't work. Uh, even on Linux, even on Windows, hell, you know. But uh, fresh install, there's a smart way to do fresh install and there's a stupid way. How do you know someone is doing a stupid way? Basically, if they ask, um, hey, you should back up your data to external hard drive or something like that, that's the stupid way, okay? The efficient way is doing the one I said in the first video. And basically, that is to separate your root folder from your home folder. That means you're just going to wipe out the OS, but you still have all your configurations, your data, your videos, whatever, still there. You don't have to back up to another hard drive or whatever. It's still in the same partition and all you gotta do is install the new version of Ubuntu or whatever that, that they had come out and that's the efficient way uh, it saves time okay but basically this one uh, I'm just gonna explain what I have so I have my uh, my root folder here and I would say about 20 gigs is the minimum uh, you know that you probably need even if you install a lot of apps and uh, I'm talking about one DE here, okay? So if you're using GNOME, even if you install a lot of apps, I don't think you ever pass uh, 20 gigs, uh, in my opinion. But if you install like different environments like KDE or XFCE or whatever it is, then you probably need more. So just to be safe, I would say 50 gigs. But uh, you know, minimum is just 20 gigs. That's all you really need. And as far as this next one, it's just. Uh, it's not even part of this it's just um, an extra Linux partition that I have and if you have an extra one or something that you want to mount put it in your slash media and then give it a name whatever name you want okay slash media slash ABCD whatever and it will mount uh, in that folder and as far as for slash home this is the important one okay this is the the one that you give the most data to because that's where you're gonna put all your movies music and all of it, everything like that your configurations um, so that's all you gotta do for there and uh, never okay I gotta repeat never format your home folder when you're doing a fresh install okay that's as simple as that but if you're stupid enough to format it then it's game over and as far as this boot thing the slash boot folder it's not really necessary to do this to separate the partition but uh, if you want to do it um, I would say about uh, maybe a hundred megs or 200 megs I would say minimum um, for you know the kernel this is where your kernel and everything like that uh, is located at so uh, probably about uh, you know 200 megs that's all you really need but I put like 512 just to be sure uh, it's up to you. Some people put it like at one gig. I think it was at Homestar 92. He put like one gig just to be safe. All right. Anyways, uh, the next one is a uh, swap folder. Uh, not really necessary if you have a you know a lot of RAM already. This one is uh, if you don't have enough RAM. So if you know your computer usually use up all the RAM, uh, this will use your hard drive as RAM. So using your hard drive as RAM if it runs out. So the thing to do here is that let's say you have two gigs and you want to do a swap, you usually double the RAM. Okay, so if I have two gigs, I double it, and I have four gigs here uh, for my hard drive uh, swap partition. So that's that, and let me explain some other stuff in here too, so you can see like a visual of where it is located at. So uh, your slash folder, okay, your slash folder this is your uh, OS so here where it says file system that's the slash and oh yeah the Ubuntu is really stupid they have this new thing you have to push control L if you want to get that little location thing back you know so this is your uh, slash folder and basically everything in here is your programs your you know the things that you install from the software center and your synaptic or whatever that's all in here not to be confused with your home folder which is your your username this is where all your you know your 
internet uh, downloads or whatever your music uh, your videos and your configuration files uh, so let me show you that so if you unhide it control H okay you have all these little dot folders uh, basically these are your configurations okay um, that uh, you you save so when you first you know boot up into your new uh, Ubuntu or whatever uh, the thing that you would want to do is reset the gnomes uh, default and to do that because uh, you know by default um, Ubuntu uses gnome and they have like a two panel like a panel but down here and a panel up top here you want to reset that to default and then make your changes because it's gonna look really weird so to do that all you gotta do is delete these folders here gnome gnome2 this uh, gconf and gconf d delete those folders and you probably have to log out and then log in and then uh, it'll generate the default uh, gnome configurations and it's the same thing for the other things, you know, all these other ones. If you want to go to default, like if you, you want to go back to the compass default, then delete compass or whatever. But uh, generally, if you want the GNOME uh, defaults, you delete this two and these two, and uh, you get back to normal. And then you can make all your customization all you want. Uh, but that's it. That's all I got to say on that. But again, never format your home folder. Okay, idiots. So that's it. That's the smart way to do a, uh, you know, a partitioning, separating your, uh, your slash from your slash home. That's it.